So Google, Microsoft, and Apple, they've all agreed that in the future, they want to end and kill passwords. Now, in this video, I wanted to share with you guys a quick demo of passkeys. Now, recently with iOS 16, Apple has added support for passkeys. And this essentially what it does is it uses your fingerprint or your face as the password. On iPhones, of course, will be face ID to authenticate, to log into websites, maybe an application, maybe even your device. Also, with Touch ID devices, of course, you'll use your fingerprints to authenticate. So I'm going to show you a quick demo on how this works and how you'll be able to take advantage of this in the near future when iOS 16 is released later this fall. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, passkeys is a feature that many may confuse with autofill. Now, autofill is a feature that when you go to log in to a website, your face ID or touch ID on an iPhone enters your email or username and password and that way you log in. This is different. This is using biometrics and these keys stay locally on your device and they never leave your device. So essentially you become the password. Now this website here I'll have in the description down below. This is where you can test this out if you want to go ahead and try it out. You're running iOS 16. It's simply a website to try this out as a demo. So let me show you how this works. So if I tap here under email, it would ask me to enter my email and then my password. That's the traditional way. Or you can use autofill on the iPhone with Face ID or Touch ID and enter those credentials that way. But you have this second option down here which allows me to use passkeys. Let's go ahead and sign in with passkey here on this demo and let me show you the three options so it's telling me right here that i've created an account on this website using this email address do i want to log in using passkey which is using face id to authenticate i do that use face id boom as you can see right there is not entering any passwords or anything it's just simply logging me in with my face right with face id so it's not autofill like most people think this is actually a passkey that uses your biometrics as the password now let's say you want to log in to a website on someone else's computer or someone else's device you don't have a password because you are the password so what do you do then so we click here and we have other options down here now right here you see if i select the second option it will create a QR code that I can scan with my iPhone which has my pass keys all stored on device because they never leave your device so all my biometrics like face ID and touch ID depending on which device are stored on my device so let's say this is someone else's iPhone and I want to go ahead and log into this website I click continue with this option and now I can use my iPhone with my biometrics here scan this device and now I can log into this website using my personal iPhone on someone else's iPhone if I wish to do so. Same thing applies for computers. You can scan the QR code that appears on the screen and you can log in to someone else's devices using pass keys using your device to authenticate. Now there's also a third option which allows you to use a secure key that you can create when you go ahead and create an account on a particular website. So that's a third option here. Secure key allows you to store a key on a thumb drive where you can take it with you as if it was a physical key. In this combination of key and numbers, you can actually go ahead and insert it into someone else's computer in order to log into a particular website using this option. So this is a really cool option here as well in case you don't have access to your mobile device physically on your hands at the moment of logging in. Now here in the United States, there's one company that's already starting this and that is Best Buy. So if we go into Best Buy here, now I haven't set this up as of yet because I wanted to share with you guys here. If I click login into Best Buy's website here, of course it's going to ask me to enter my email and password and that is autofill right there. I can go ahead and do that and it will enter the credentials and log me in to Best Buy. But you have a second option down here to use passkeys and I'm going to set that up here quickly. So let's go into options here. Let's go into accounts and then let's go ahead and set up passkey on this Best Buy website by scrolling down and selecting all account settings. Right here we can use face ID or a fingerprint to sign in. Let's go ahead and register this iPhone here. Click sign this iPhone right here. Go ahead and authenticate using face ID. So there we go. We're setting it up and now this device can sign in to Best Buy using passkey. Now you would have to do this for all your websites right once they start rolling out and updating the same thing applies for applications on your iPhone and everything eventually will adopt to pass keys. So let's go back here once and let's go ahead and log out and now try to use biometrics to log in instead of autofill, right? So let's become the password essentially at this point. So let's go back here, sign out 
and let's go ahead and use an option here that allows us to use these biometrics. So right here we have the first option, which is autofill. The second option is sign in with web authentication. Now let's go ahead and do that. As you can see right here, it's not asking for any password. It's simply going to go ahead and automatically go ahead and use my email, right? But also my password is my face. So if I click on my email, it recognizes my email, my face now. Right there, it doesn't enter anything. It's going to ask me, do I want to use passkey? Yes. And there we go. I've become the password to enter to the Best Buy website from here on out and I can use pass keys and hopefully all websites will go ahead and add this feature to their end right in order for you to use pass keys to log into any website uh, many applications will adopt this after iOS 16 is released and essentially what you're doing here is you're using yourself as the password which eliminates the need for an actual password okay on your device therefore of course making everything a lot more secure for everyone around you so thank you for watching Watching this quick demo of pass keys let me know what you think about this new technology in those comments down below again everyone is committed google microsoft apple and a lot a lot of other companies around the world will be implementing pass keys here shortly i would like to hear your thoughts in those comments down below thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace